Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at polynomial long division. So we're first going to start out by doing long division of just two numbers. And then we're going to take a look at what steps we do in that long division. And then we're going to apply those steps to polynomials to be able to divide two polynomials. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at long division. Uh, first with just a number. So we were going to divide 299 divided by 13. We could set it up as a long division. The first thing we need to do is how many times does 13 go into 29? So it's going to go in two times. Then we multiply the 2 by the 13. We get 26. The next step is to subtract. 29 minus 26 is 3. And then we bring down the next number. So we're going to bring down the 9 to make a 39 on the bottom. And then we repeat this step. How many times does 13 go into 39? And that goes in three times. Multiply three times 13 and get 39. Subtract again, and we get a remainder of zero. Now we can do these exact same steps with polynomials. So let's take a look at what that would look like for polynomial long division. So if we have 2x squared plus 9x plus 9 divided by x plus 3, and notice that's the same exact thing as the number that we were dividing if x was 10. So set it up as a long division. And then the first thing we need to do is how many times does x go into 2x squared? Or what can we multiply x by to get 2x squared? And that's going to be 2x. Now we go ahead and multiply like we did in the other one. We multiply the 2x times the x and get 2x squared. But we also have to multiply the 2x times the 3 to get 6x. And then we subtract. And when we subtract, we're always looking to get rid of that first term. So we pick the 2x specifically to get rid of the 2x squared. So when we subtract, that 2x squared is going to be eliminated. So we just get the 3x, bring the 9 down. And now how many times does x go into 3x? And our next number we're going to use is 3. Multiply again. 3 times the x is 3x. And 3 times the 9, I mean 3 times the 3 is 9. Subtract. And notice that we get 0 as a remainder here. So we divide 2x squared plus 9x plus 9 divided by x plus 3. And our answer for that division is going to be 2x plus 3. Okay, let's take a look at a few polynomial long division problems. All right, in the first problem, let's set it up as a long division. So let's put 2x plus 3 on the outside, 2x to the third, 15x squared, plus 28x plus 15 on the inside. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how many times 2x goes into 2x to the third. So we're going to need to multiply by x squared in order to get 2x to the third. So I'm going to put x squared here. And notice I lined it up above the other x squared um, just to keep things in order. And then I know I'm going to need an x squared, an x, and a constant term once I get my final answer. So then x squared times 2x gets us 2x to the third. We always want these two to match. We're picking this x squared specifically, so this will match the 2x to the third. Then we also have to multiply the x squared by the 3 and get 3x squared. Now we'll subtract. These cancel out when we subtract. 15 minus 3 gets us 12x squared. Now we repeat the process. 2x goes in 12x squared how many times? Well, that's going to be 6 x. 6x six times 2x is 12x squared. Oh, we forgot to bring the 28 down. Bring the 28x down. 6x times 3 is 18x. And now we subtract. 28 minus 18 is 10x. Bring the 15 down. 2x times what is 10x, and that's going to be 5. Multiply 5 by both pieces. 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times 3 is 15. And we have no remainder. 
Now sometimes you will have a remainder when you try to do a long division. It just means that 2x plus 3 is not a factor of this if it, if it got something other than 0. But 0 tells us that 2x plus 3 is a factor because it evenly divides in. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Again, set it up as a long division. And this one, notice that we've got a negative um, in between the, the 2x minus 3 rather than 2x plus 3. And a negative is going to make, make it so that we've got to pay attention to our positive and negative because when we subtract, it can get a little tricky. So again, 2x into 2x to the third, we get x squared. Multiply by both and get 2x to the third minus 3x squared. And now here's where the part comes where we've got to be careful on signs. So we're going 7 minus a negative 3 to get 10x squared. And if it helps you to do this, if you want to do subtraction and then say subtracting is the same as adding the opposite signs, you can do that as well. And then the 2x third and minus 2x third are still going to cancel each other out when you add. And the 7 and the 3 get you the 10. So whichever one works better for you, either subtracting and knowing that subtracting a negative is the same as adding, or change the signs, change it to an addition, and then change the signs of everything. Bring the 11x down. Now we got to put 2x into 10x squared. That's going to be 5 x. Multiply that by both pieces and get 10x squared. The 5x times a minus 3 is minus 15x. It's negative 11 minus a negative 15, which is the same as plus 15. So we're going to get a plus 4x. Bring the 6 down, minus 6. 2x times 2 gets us 4x. And the 2 times the negative 3 gets us negative 6, and we don't have any remainder. Okay, so on problems like this, just be careful with the, with the signs because you are subtracting. Um, and when you've got a negative here, you're subtracting a negative, which becomes the same as adding. Okay, and the last problem. Um, what I want you to notice here is that there's no x squared term. So we've got x squared term missing here. So we go from x to the third right to x and a constant ter term. So when we set up this problem, what we're going to do is go 9x to the third, but we're going to put a placeholder in here. So we're going to add 0x squared in here as a placeholder. What that does is when we go and do the long division and subtract out, it's going to make sure we line up things the same way of where they need to go so we have something to subtract from. So let's go ahead and do it. So 3x goes into 3x to the third. We need 3x squared times. Multiply this out and we get 9x squared. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12x squared. Now we're subtracting negative 12. So that's the same as adding 12. So we're going to end up with plus 12 here. Bring the minus x down. And repeat the steps again. 3x goes into 12x squared. We've got to have 4x in order to get 12x squared. So 4x times 3x is 12x squared. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16x. Negative x minus 16 is the same as plus 16. Uh, minus a negative is the same as plus 16. So we're going to add 16 to minus 1 and get plus 15 here. And then bring down the minus 20. All right, and then 3x times what is 15x? Well, that's going to be 5. 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times 4 is negative 20, which gives us no remainder. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments on this video or suggestions for future videos, just comment below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. And I've got another suggestion for you to watch right here. Thank you and come back again soon.